Hello, it's Jay here again and welcome to another tutorial. In this lesson, we're going to create the blended skybox itself. And as you can see, I've gone ahead and I've unassigned the current. So we just have a blank sky for now. And we're going to create a new shader. I'm going to create it in the skybox folder. You could create a new folder for it, but because it's only going to be used for skyboxes, I'll put it in here. And we'll right click and we'll create new shader. And we'll use the top, top one here, this standard. That should suffice. So we'll name this blend, in fact we'll just say blend sky. And we'll open it up for editing. So, let's get rid of all of that. And we need to come to the Unify Community Wiki. And as you can see, Skybox Blended. I will put the link in the description. And as you can see, we have a Skybox Blended shader already created for us. So let's copy all of this and then we'll just go ahead and we'll paste it in in fact we can get rid of that as well uh, we'll just paste that in there and I'm going to come here as you can see we have if I enter there front text all the way down to down text and then we have front text 2 all the way down to down text 2. Now, Unity does not really like blending between more than two, shade, uh, two materials. Uh, we're going to force it to use three. In this, we're going to modify the script. Now... I'll just downsize that as well. If we didn't do this, we'd have to create all different matters of blended sky boxes for all the different permutations that the weather can switch to. So we'd have to have one for just for sun, let's say we'd have to have one that blends to all four and blends back and we'd have to swap and change them out with code now you can do this you can just use this standard shader and there is an example on the unity website of how to assign basically swap out skyboxes it's fairly easy and it's on the unity website but uh, it would take an awful long time to um, create all the different skyboxes we'd have to create a lot of blended ones so I thought um, we'd just do it this way and keep things simple within this series and just force it to use three materials. So, you know, Unity's not really designed for this, but um, sometimes that can be good to actually see, you know, how you can uh, force things to occur within a game engine, even if it's not really supported that well so yeah i think that can be just as interesting sometimes and if you want me to show you in like an update lesson of how to swap out sky boxes and then you can go ahead and create your own blended ones after this i can do that that's absolutely fine just uh, leave me a comment below but for now i've copied the front text to block and uh, we just need to swap out where it says two to one so I'll just go ahead quickly and do all the variables on the left here. And we'll come here and we need to do the same here. And you may want to pause the video at this moment while you do yours. So we'll keep going. And that's all of them done. And we just need to do the same for the subshader here. So we'll copy the bottom line the front text too and we'll just paste in we'll tidy up the script as we go 
and I'm sure you've guessed we're just going to change that to front text one and we'll just keep going and we're using the uh, one off the Unify community website because it's very good and it's very simple as well so you know there wasn't really much point in writing my own shader for this because this one works absolutely fine we're just going to modify it for our purposes and we'll keep going and we'll paste that in and we're nearly there and just remember always change it to a one otherwise it will not work uh, we just have the final two to do again we'll keep tidying up the script as we go and finally the last one so we'll paste that in bring it back into line and finally change that out to four one and we'll save that there and that is that shader done and in fact I'll close it down we'll check for errors there should not be any we'll come back to project and now we need to create the blended skybox itself so we'll just right click create and of type material and we'll give it a name and we'll just say blended skybox and then we can assign the shader so here we'll click come to skybox blended and now you can see we have textures one textures and a set of two textures here and we'll start off with the lightest texture so we come here the skybox and then our textures we'll click on sunny and we'll just assign these to the first set here so sunny back the next one's the down there we go sunny front left and right and finally up and we'll come to the next block so all the ones that have a number one in front and we'll come to the medium brightness so you just use the overcast one and again we'll start off so that's overcast back down front left right and finally up and then we want the darkest skybox so here we go eerie back down front left and finally right and up I'll set the blend to zero to begin with so I'll just bring this slider down we'll collapse all that back up and that's it that's all we need to do apart from assign it so we'll open the lighting tab and we'll assign the skybox there blended skybox so we'll come to the scripts we'll open the dynamic weather script and because this is going to be active across all states we can just put it in the void update and in fact I'll put it here and what we want to do is call this void here the skybox blend manager and in fact I'll just copy it and we'll paste that in and open and close brackets close the line off into the comments so we'll say start start skybox blend function I think that will do fine and we'll save that off there so we'll close script we'll close mono develop and we'll go and test it out so I'm going to click on console we'll click on the directional light so we can actually see the dynamic weather script and let's hit play and we'll see how that looks now yes there is a problem with my rain particle system I don't know if this is caused by the update but um, we'll do a, f a lesson where we actually fix the rain particle system and in fact oh, it's nearly done anyway let's swap it out clear it out 
And you can see the skybox blending. And let's just uh, get the... And oh, we're still in mist, so let's just uh, bring it down to one again. So we're switching to overcast, and now we're blending it into the darker skybox, as you can see. So, yes, don't worry about the rain particle system. I'll do a new lesson where we fix any errors. I don't know if that's been caused by the update to Unity, but it just seems to have appeared, so I can only assume so. And hopefully we can see it blending back. So, there's our sky blended. I'll stop that there. I hope you enjoyed this video, we're going to leave it here for now, and in the next lesson we'll come back, we'll fix the rain particle system, and we still have a few other little things to do to the script, and a few more tweaks to get it looking and running perfectly, but um, at least we have the actual skybox working now, so... Um, Yes, yeah, so all it's a case of now is um, little tweaks and, uh, like I said, that one fix for the rain. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope to see you next time. And until then, as always, bye for now.